you're a relatively small town guy. You're from uh, St. Michael, right? Yep, St. Michael. And um, you recently get a chance to, for the second time in your life to live out a every football player's dream and play in the Super Bowl. How about the journey that took you to get there? Um, can you talk about that for a minute? You came in as a linebacker, right? Yeah, I, uh, I came to the University of Minnesota. I, I actually played high school linebacker. I was a middle linebacker, and, and that's how they recruited me. I came here, and I was a... Uh, I was a linebacker, but I was a linebacker for about two days, and then they switched me to defensive end, and uh, I played defensive end my whole first year. I redshirted. I was, you know, defensive end, and then they switched me to tight end, and you know, I kind of figured that, you know, I was kind of bummed. I was down because, you know, they switched me. It was like, wow, you know, like obviously I'm not very good at defensive end, or I'm not good at linebacker if they're switching me, and. Uh, but it obviously was for the best. I mean, the first day I, after the first uh, practice at tight end, it was just like night and day difference, and and it really just kind of went from there. Like like I said, the first practice, I could tell that things were going to go good for me. I, I never never would have imagined that I would have had the career that I, you know I had and am having. And um, yeah, it's just been crazy. It's you know to go from playing tight end or defensive end one year and the next year being like a freshman All American at a different position, and then going on to you know. You know, win some awards, and then being lucky enough to be drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers and playing two Super Bowls in four years—it's just, you know, it's lucky. I, it really is. I mean, I've I've worked hard, but it, it's been a lot of luck. Now, um, what would be your career highlight at this point in time? Let's see. You started. Was it 2003? When were you a freshman? Yeah, 2003. So you had a chance to be there when they won the Axe. Mm -hmm. You got to win the Mackey Award. Mm -hmm. You got the Hoist the Super Bowl trophy. And you've caught a pass in the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, both of them actually. So, what is your career highlight then, out of out of those? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the Super Bowl, obviously, um, it's just something that there's so many great, great players, Hall of Fame type players that play in the league for 15 years and they never get the experience of of playing in a Super Bowl and, and then and then being able to win it. So that's something that's you know so special and and. Uh, in the fact that I've got to play in two and win one, it's just incredible. Um, as far as you know, college highlights, it definitely would be winning the Axe, um, beating you know your, your rivals, um, beating Michigan for the first time in 22 years, and running over and getting the the jug. And then you know things like the Mac Award are great. It's you know it's not what we play this game for, but it's it's something that I'll have for the rest of my life, and and it will never you know nobody will ever be able to take that away from me. You just had an opportunity to meet with Coach Kill, presumably for the first time. What did you take away from that meeting? Well, he's a great guy. I mean, he's a he's a, a football coach first and a, and a good guy, and um, and he's going to do great here. Um, loved loved meeting with him. I've got the privilege of talking to him on the phone. Um, I'm really excited. I think he's going to do a great job. He's a he's a hard nosed, no BS guy. He's gonna he's gonna tell it like it is. He's honest. Um, you know, I I see a lot of qualities in him that I see in, in my coaches in Pittsburgh and in the organization in Pittsburgh. And, and I think that's why Pittsburgh is always successful. And I think that's the same reason he's going to be successful. 